Welcome to our Angular tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with Angular 4. Our viewer is trying to set up code coverage for a simple application, but is feeling a bit lost. They've done their research, but they still need guidance on how to enable test coverage effectively. Let's dive into their journey and explore how to set up code coverage using Karma and the Coverage Reporter. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. To enable test coverage in your Angular 4 project, we will use the Karma Coverage Reporter. First, ensure you have the necessary dependencies installed. Next, we need to update the Karma configuration file. This is where we will specify how we want the coverage reports to be generated. Now let's ensure that the preprocessors are set up correctly. We need to tell Karma to use the coverage preprocessor for our source files. After updating the configuration, you can run your tests. Use the command npm test to execute your tests and generate the coverage report. Finally, if you see an empty coverage report, ensure that your tests are actually covering the code. Review your tests to confirm they are executing the necessary code paths. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To enable test coverage in Angular 4, start by installing the necessary packages. Use the command to install Karma, Jasmine, and Coverage Reporters. Next, run your tests with coverage by using the ng-test command with the code coverage flag. Finally, ensure you have HTTP server installed. Use it to serve the coverage report on your browser. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To enable test coverage in Angular 4, projects created with Angular CLI already have the code coverage plugin set up. You can run the command ng-test-cc to check the coverage. If you're curious about the configuration, generate a new project with Angular CLI and run ng-eject in the root folder. This will show you the webpack configuration file. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To enable test coverage in Angular 4 after using ng-eject, you need to make a few adjustments in your package.json and karma.conf.js files. First, add a coverage script in your package.json. This allows you to run tests with coverage reporting.
Next, update your Karma configuration. Set the client arguments to include coverage and create a variable to read the command line option. Finally, configure the coverage reporter settings and ensure the correct reporters are used based on the coverage option. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To enable test coverage in Angular 4, you need to modify your Karma configuration file. Specifically, add the Angular C section. Make sure to set code coverage to true. This is essential for running coverage on an ejected app using the npm run test command. And that's it guys. I hope this video helped get you that answer that you're looking for. Now, I'll see you next time. Please subscribe for more question and answer videos. And if you have any more, please shoot them through in the comments. Have a good one.